am I going? <laughs> oi, oi, oi. Internet. It is 7.30 in the morning and welcome back to the channel. I am at uh, Spitzkopper, that's that mountain over there, here in Namibia. And uh, I'm now going to have my breakfast and then pack up and then I'm off back towards the coast. So today we're having some homemade bread, egg and a coffee. Okay, quick look on the map. I am now right here and I am going to follow this road today. Then I will drive a little bit south for a small detour and then I turn around. I'll go back up north and I'm planning to end today at uh, Cape Cross Bay, I think. Yeah, somewhere around here, right on the coast. Oh, it is such a lovely, lovely morning again. Oh. Okay. I'm going to exit the same way as I came in, over that same little road. It's actually quite fun. I wouldn't mind riding that two times. See here, I need to go. I think, right? We're not. Yeah, this way. Ah, the morning light on this granite is just fantastic, right? Wow. Oh, which way am I going? I think I'm going, am I going right? Oh, I'm actually wrong. <laughs> this is not where I was yesterday. I think I'm on the wrong side of the fence, maybe. Oh, well. Let's see where go this goes. This is not where I was riding when I came here. This is a different, different little road. Oh, well, anyway, I have an easy mark point. The kleine Spitzkoppe, the small Spitzkoppe. That's the direction I have to go to, so that's easy enough. So yeah, this is definitely another little road. So cool. What a gorgeous, gorgeous terrain. I asked uh, the people that worked in the lodge, like, hey, I didn't see like any wildlife. And they're like, yeah, like the bigger herds, they, um, <clears throat> they moved away. Because actually in this area, there hadn't been any rainfall in the last rainy season in December. So uh, the animals moved all to areas with more grass. 
So now it's just the, the farmers here with their goats that are left. Where is this track leading? <laughs> I really wonder where this is going. I see now this is that uh, main track which I tried to take uh, last time but then the guy at the gate said that it was closed somewhere here that was leading to this road so <laughs> let's see if I see the same guy again and he's gonna be like huh where did you just <laughs> come from <laughs> no gate is gonna stop me This is smooth. Wow. Yeah, I'm now on the other side of the gate. <laughs> See if there's anybody home. Or if I could just do the gate myself. This is... how does this work? Ah. Guy is still sleeping, maybe. This landscape is actually so so cool because let me just stop for a second so I can already see the ocean over there but it just doesn't come closer if you know what I mean and I think it's because see now I'm at 273 meters altitude 
and I came from a thousand. So there's like this slight slope just going down towards the coast. So I can already see the ocean, but it's still really far away. <sighs> Other than that, it is just flat, flat desert. Nothing here. But this is part of the Dorop National Park that I'm now riding through. I just uh, saw a sign just before. Back in a civilization, sort of. Okay, now I'm just gonna go south. Make a small detour and then I'll come back the same way here. Here is my stop. Welcome to the Skeleton Coast. Uh, this is only one of the many, many shipwrecks you find around here. There are about a thousand shipwrecks all along the coast here. Uh, this is the Zila shipwreck and it's an offshore uh, fishing vessel uh, that ran aground in 2008. But there are many, many more. And this part of the world, this, this stretch of coastline is considered one of the most inhospitable areas in the world. And the Portuguese navigators that were passing here in the 15th century, they called this sands of hell. Uh, but the San people, those are the people that have been living in these lands for many centuries, they call this land the land God made in anger. So that kind of, <laughs> kind of tells a lot. Um, still, there is wildlife here. More up north, uh, there are brown hyenas, there are jackals, so there, there are predators that prey on the seal colonies that you find here. Um, but other than that, it's not a very welcoming place. And the reason why you get so many shipwrecks is because of that Benguela current I've been talking about before. And that current that causes rough seas, obviously a strong current, and it causes these dense, dense fogs um, that I also encountered when I left uh, Walvis Bay. And well, those are kind of all the ingredients you need for ships running aground here. And now I'm going to make my way up north a little bit more towards uh, one of these um, uh, first seal colonies. Um, I think that first seal colony is bigger than the one uh, where I was in the Bay. Um, I believe sometimes that even counts 90,000 uh, seals. So I'm really curious. Um, so that's the plan. First, I'm gonna make a stop at Henty's Bay uh, to fuel up and then uh, continue to the Cape Fur Seal colony. See if I can get out of this sand <laughs> in one piece again. Opa! Made it out. On to Hentis Bay.
So this is the town uh, Hentys by. <laughs> they have the Hentys gym, the Hentys hardware, the Hentys motors. <laughs> it's very easy to come up with a business name here. Other than that, it's just sand everywhere. Oh, this is closed. Aha. Okay. Detour. Thanks. Detour. Road closed. Ah, yeah. This way. It's uh, 54 kilometers left, so it's not very far. But I'm pretty sure it's going to be 54 kilometers of just this stuff. <laughs> what a place! Oh. oh. Eh? According to my navigation, the road's supposed to go straight from here. Am I just... Am I supposed to take a right here? No. Oh, it just turns into dirt then, I guess, from here. Pretty sure I have to go this way. confused ah uh, no see it is paved but I think this was also just still construction or something I'm not sure I guess I'm supposed to ride here then Where is this going? I have no idea where I am supposed to go. There are no signs about this road closure or detour. Uh, I have to get to the other side there. But how? Am I going? <laughs> oi, oi, oi. Okay. Now uh, they're building some very nice little bridge there. That's okay. I'm gonna also go this way. See here, it's <laughs> just a nice paved road. There you go. Oh, yeah. It's totally unclear to me when I am supposed to ride where, to be honest. Look at this sign. I told you there's a brown hyena in this area. They even have a sign here. <laughs> Caution, slow down. Well, I think if I see a brown hyena, I think I will just speed up a little bit instead of slow <laughs> slowing down. Oh, those is, um, I think they are mining uh, salt over there. Anybody here? 
Everybody tending to the shop. Let me see. 20 Namibian dollars, 50, 80, 100, 200. Ah, you can just put the money. <laughs> the money is just in there. It's a trust system. Cool, right? These are all just massive, massive salt crystals. It's quite heavy. All right, too big for me to bring with me, unfortunately. I am here. Cape Cross. Cape Cross Lodge. Okay, I dropped off my luggage. So now I'm just going to ride to see the seal colony. Which is just uh, two kilometers away from here, I think. Ooh, I can smell them. I'm back in the sea fog as well. Oh, they're not afraid at all. Why? <laughs> oh, they're just everywhere. They are super cute. They are super stinky and uh, <laughs> super noisy but look at this i just want to see if i can go on the walkway but uh, the route is blocked sorry guys can i pause oh, oops uh. excuse me very <laughs> They are vicious. Um, guys? Come on, guys. Move a little. I just want to go through there. You're occupying the whole thing, guys. Really. Okay. Sorry. Oh, this one does not let me go past. Come on. Come on. Come on. Good seal. <laughs> Look at that. They're just laying on the picnic tables there. <laughs> you guys have taken over. Hi. Look at this. So I guess that's why they just take over and they're here on the <laughs> walkways. I still want to go that way, pass over there. But this one seal is still in the way. Uh, oh. Oh. <laughs> it's one angry seal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> vicious, vicious. What a place. The seals have completely taken over. I'm the only person here, so it's kind of me against 90,000 Cape Fur seals. All right, I'm going to ride back to the lodge now through this mist. So that was it for today. I really hope you liked this video. 
If you did, please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. And then I'll see you in the next video.